So here we are with an old and tired out carrier HVAC system. This is uh, the one we've had. It's around 20 years old. We got it in 2000. And uh, it's reaching the end of its life. Probably can only squeeze a few more years out of it. But it's been good. Hasn't given us too many problems. Most problems we've had were, were with the outdoor condensing unit outside, which even then is in fairly decent condition. This is a, um, a carrier weather maker 90 tooth, 90 tooth, 9, ultra efficient for the day, not anymore, but yes, yeah, was using some pretty good stuff back in the day. There you go, you got all your servicing stuff on the panel here, and it's um, it's had a problem recently where it was leaking water out the front here, where the, um, I don't know if it's called the evaporator or condenser, I think this is the condenser because it has water condensed on it, but water was leaking out of here, and you can kind of see, it looked like it's been happening for a while, because you see the, um, the bubbling in the paint and the, the corrosion from the water. I have a little paper towel here. This has been here for a while now, a couple of years. Put this here, and when it gets wet, you gotta know it's low on Freon. It's been um, it's been leaking Freon. That's the problem with this one, leaking Freon. So there might be a leak in the coil. The guy said it was a leak in the coil, and the pressure because the the um, the amount of Freon is lower. The the pressure when there's um less Freon, the pressure drops along with the amount and also the temperature does as well so it was freezing up in here and then it was melting out here and not going through the little pump down there but yeah it's pretty old and you can see all the aluminum tape to stop all the air coming out and stuff so yeah what's happening today is we're um, changing thermostats here's the um, old thermostat it's an old Sears from um, when the uh, from the old furnace that this replaced, it was a 1970s, the vintage 1970s gas furnace. It may have been a Sears because we've got this Sears humidifier here, which has done absolutely nothing, and all the ductwork is original too. It uses a um, a custom filter. This is an I think it's an 18 by 25. So if you want to use a disposable, you got to cut off just from the top so that's a um, a, re uh, a reusable one you um one of the ones where you wash it out and you take it all apart and clean it and stuff so yeah we're using that now and uh, yeah here it is we've got a uh, ad smith a o a o smith um draft inducer here bangs are still good on it So yeah, I don't know what this is, this was just here, so I'll leave that there. Got your blower motor down here. Everything on this is original, never had to replace anything. And we've got the wires here. Yeah, here's the work we're doing. The old wire that led to this was four wires. Here's a new thermostat. I don't know if it turned on cool, but here it is. Yeah, I protested it, but... As always, I didn't win. Yeah. All right, here it is running. All that fancy jazz. Actually, I don't need. I don't. <laughs> that new thermostat is up there. I don't think it's even running the um the 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 unit outside. I mean, it's not it's not doing anything. Yeah, whatever. But anyways, back to the thermostats. This is the old one. It's um, a lot better than the new one. But I mean, it'll be in a couple of years, not too long. Here's the original one. The owners actually kept the original one. Alright, so here's the outdoor unit. 
Got a leaf there. Get that out. So yeah, this is a um, fairly decent shape for a 20 year old unit, mainly because we cover it in the winter. It was only this winter that we forgot to cover it, but we usually cover it. There it is. Look how faded that logo is. It's pretty quiet. No big rattles or screeching. Fan motor's looking not too good, but still works fine. Oh yeah, here it is. This is also the unit that we've had the most problems with. Information. 